Alright, hello fellow shed hunters. Welcome to the Mexico Apache uh, Reservation, New Mexico. I've been shed hunting for about uh, maybe an hour, hour and a half. I have found two small ones. I've been doing them on my back or not. And uh, I'm in a good area, but it's probably been walked through several times, probably at least by uh, it's probably more than one or two people. Uh, so the, 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 the antlers are getting mighty scarce, but they're still around. Uh, no matter how much you walk in the area, a lot of times uh, it's hard to get all the antlers out of there because if, you know if you walk beside a bush, if you're on this side of the bush, you may not see it or a tree or it's deep grass. I think I just walked up on another one here. Uh, I'll let you walk down with me. Coming this way through here. I was checking things out. It's a really nice area. And uh, you know it's really hard not to get uh, discouraged sometimes. You can walk all day with some days and not find anything. But that's just it, huh? And I seen a, a little white thing right there. I said, I better go check that out. And when I got right about here, I knew then it was an antler. So I don't know how big it is. I don't know if there's other ones there with it or not. Uh, it looks like a this year horn though. Maybe it's a real big one, maybe. I think it's all right size, not real big, but. Nice little average horn. Like I said, not real big, not real small. Uh, he's got some debris around the crown right here. Uh, a lot of times what happens is uh, when they lose their first horn, they'll try to, to, to rub their second horn off and you'll see debris like this on there. And that's not always the case. Sometimes they're trying to rub both of them 